In this video, we will identify your phone line type and go over how to configure the TR600 for your line. Your phone line configuration will fall into one of three types, RJ11 single line, RJ11 multi-line, and RJ45 into phone base. RJ11 single line is the most common type of phone line. If you have a single line and an RJ11 cable supplies phone service to your phone base, as is shown here, then you will be using the first set of instructions in this video. If you have a multi-line phone or an RJ45 cable is supplying phone service to your phone base, then skip to the RJ11 multi-line section of this video. The first line configuration we'll go over is RJ11 single line. This is the most common and easiest setup. Use this configuration if you have a single line phone and an RJ11 cable supplying phone service to your phone base, coming from the wall, modem, or a magic jack type of device. To start out, you will need to have your phone turned on and ready, and the TR600 plugged in with the SD card inserted. To hook up the TR600, you will need to locate the phone line coming from your phone service provider into the building. Once you've located this RJ11 cable, ensure one end is plugged into your phone service port coming into the building. Plug the other end into the port labeled line on the TR600. Once this is connected, locate the larger RJ11 cable included in the box. And plug one end into the port labeled phone on the TR600. And plug the other end into your phone base. When this is finished, ensure the source switch on the side of the TR600 is in the phone position. Now that the TR600 is connected to your phone system, you will need to input the correct settings for your phone line on the TR600. To start out, push the button for settings, make sure recording is selected, and push OK. Push the down arrow to Menu Recording Mode and select OK. Next push the down arrow to select Line Mode and select OK. Now that you are in Line Mode, the TR600 is ready to start recording calls. The final step is setting your preferred recording mode. To do so, open Settings, select Recording, press the down arrow to Auto Manual Record and select OK. Depending on your preference, you will need to either select manual or auto. Manual recording mode will only start and stop recording when you push the record and stop buttons on the TR600. Auto recording mode will start recording automatically when a call is made or received and will stop when you hang up. Select your preferred mode and press OK. The second line configuration we will go over is RJ11 multi-line and RJ45. You will use this method if you have a multi-line phone and an RJ11 cable or RJ45 cable is supplying phone service to your phone base. To start out, you will need to have your phone turned on and ready and the TR600 plugged in with the SD card inserted.
To hook up the TR600 to your phone, you will need to locate the handset curly cord on your phone base, unplug this from your phone base, and plug it into the handset port on the side of the TR600. Once this is connected, locate the smaller RJ9 cable Plug one end into the phone base port on the TR600 and plug the other end into your phone base. Now that the TR600 is connected to your phone system, you will need to input the correct settings for your phone line on the TR600. Push the button for settings, make sure recording is selected and push OK. Push the down arrow to menu recording mode and select OK. Next ensure handset mode is selected and select OK. Now that you are in handset mode, the TR600 is almost ready to start recording calls. The final step is setting your preferred recording mode. To do so, open settings, select recording, push the down arrow to auto manual record and select OK. Depending on your preference, you will need to either select manual or trig and push OK. Manual recording mode will only start and stop recording when you push the record and stop buttons on the TR600. Auto recording mode can only be used in line mode and will be substituted with trig mode. Trig recording mode will start recording automatically when a call is made or received and will stop when you hang up. To maximize the use of trig mode, we will next need to adjust some settings. The first setting we will change is box trigger level, which stands for voice activation trigger level. To access this setting, you will need to push this button for settings. Make sure recording is selected and push OK. Push the down arrow to Vox trigger level and select OK. Here you can set the audio volume that the TR600 will start recording at. The levels range from 1 to 10, with 1 being the most sensitive and 10 being the least sensitive. The default volume is 3. If you set the Vox trigger level at 10, the sound level on the call will need to be very loud in order to trigger the recording. Level 10 may not be loud enough to activate the recording. Once you've found your preferred setting, press OK to save and back to return to the main menu. If you have problems with the TR600 not recording your calls while in trig mode, ensure the Vox trigger level is set correctly. The next setting we will need to optimize is Vox silence. To access this setting, push the button for settings, make sure recording is selected, and push OK. Push the down arrow to Vox silence and select OK. When in trig mode, the TR600 will stop recording a call after a period of silence. You can set this time period to be anywhere from 2 to 99 seconds. If set too short, one recorded phone call may be broken into multiple audio files. If you are on a phone call with over 5 seconds of silence and the Vox silence level is set at 5 seconds, the recording will stop. When sound is detected again, the recording will start again. This will create two audio files for one recorded phone call. Once you've found your preferred setting, press OK to save and back to return to the main menu. This concludes the line configuration setup for the TR600. For any questions or to purchase a TR600, visit recordergear.com.